today we will see some misconceptions related to cubes and their patterns. Misconception 1. Which of the following statements is correct? A lot of times, children do not have a proper understanding of the cube. In such a situation, they make various kinds of mistakes. For example, some children think that the cube of a number means adding that number three times. But this is a misunderstanding. The answer given with this understanding is option 1. This is an incorrect answer. Similarly, some children understand that the cube of a number means multiplying that number by 3. Children with this misconception will choose option 2 as an answer which is also a wrong answer. Some children are unable to decide whether they have to multiply the number 3 times by itself or multiply 3 by itself as many times as given number. In such a situation, they give option 3 as the answer which is a wrong answer. The correct understanding is that the cube of a number means multiplying that number 3 times by itself. With this understanding, the correct answer is option 4. Misconception 2. Which of the following statement is correct? Some children are unable to understand the exact meaning of exponents due to which they make small mistakes in the context of the cube. Some children begin to believe that 18 to the power of 3 is equal to the sum of 10 to the power of 3 and 8 to the power of 3 because the sum of 10 and 8 is 18. But this is a misunderstanding. If we consider the left hand side, 18 to the power 3 can be written as 18 multiplied by 18 multiplied by 18 which equals to 5832. Similarly, on the right hand side, 10 to the power of 3 which equals to 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 is equal to 1000 and 8 to the power of 3 is equal to 8 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 8 is equal to 512. And if we add them both, we get 1512. Do you think both the sides are equal here? Here, 5832 is not equal to 1512. So both sides are not equal. This shows that the first statement is false. This cannot be the answer for the question. Some children think that a number can only be expressed as a cube of its prime factors. In option 2, 6 is not a prime factor. This can also be a reason that children think that the second statement is wrong and the first statement is correct. But this is a misunderstanding. That's why they feel the second option is wrong. Remember, we can write 18 to the power of 3 as follows. We can further factorize it using groups of 2 multiplied by 3. Since 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6, we can write it as 6 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3. So now you must have understood that the second statement is correct and it is the correct answer to the given question. So today we saw some misconceptions related to cubes and their patterns.